10 tips, 10 days, day four. Be critical of the roles you take on. Now imagine we're still on our mountain hike together. By now we've settled into a nice rhythm. We get up early in the morning, have a good breakfast in the mountain inn that's prepared for us with eggs and sourdough bread, good meat, good cheese. We prepare ourselves a lunch and then we set off into the mountains. We found a pace that is comfortable and that we can maintain for a couple of hours and that will take us to the next mountain inn. And as you by now have left everything that was causing you stress behind, you no longer have to be shown the beautiful views. You're, no longer do I have to point out beautiful unknown flowers to you unknown flowers along the trail side. You start noticing murmeltieren, um, what do you call those in? Mountain marmots, I guess, uh, before I do. And you have gotten used to focusing part of your brain on where is it that I put my feet? How do I move through these mountains, through those, over those trails that are pretty undulated and sometimes pretty steep? How do I maintain my balance? And as you do so, ideas, insights, and other things start popping into your head. Now, when you've been caught up in the doing of everyday life, whether it's in life, business, or both, your career, for example, too, it's not unlikely that you've taken on roles that you have to conclude, do not necessarily contribute to you realizing your vision for your life, your vi for the way you want to live your life. They may not contribute to you providing the biggest contribution, excuse me, the biggest contribution to the vision that you have for your business. You may, are, you may be doing things that other people should be doing so that you can focus on the things that are really important as the visionary for your life, as the visionary for your business, for your career. So, as we move through the mountains, I ask you to start thinking about the roles that you've taken on, roles that you are asked to take on, and consider whether or not they contribute to realizing how you want to live, how you want to work, what you want for your business, the vision that you have for your business. And if that's not the case, can you delegate some of those roles to other people? Maybe you can drop some of those roles entirely. Maybe you shouldn't be, excuse me, maybe you shouldn't be, these roles shouldn't be fulfilled at all. Maybe you can hire somebody to do them for you. And then there's, of course, there are roles that you perhaps have to fulfill simply because of other obligations that are important to you. Think of some certain roles in your family. And then finally, there are roles that you're perhaps not yet fulfilling. But when it comes to realizing your when it comes to living life as you want to live it, when it comes to being in the career that you want to have, when it comes to running your business in such a way that you are, that you stay on track towards your vision, there may be roles that you have to add to your, to the palette of the roles that you have already fulfilled. So whenever people are asking you to do something or are offering you a role, ask yourself, is this the biggest, in fulfilling this role, in taking on this role, do I contribute in the most effective and important way to the vision that I have for my life, my career, 
my business or all three of them. So be critical of the roles that you take on. As always, go there greatly.